If I'm gonna do this craft log thing, you're gonna have to get up to speed on everything that I've made so far this summer. So let's take a look using mostly Instagram and TikTok videos for what Coolie Craft has been up to making these last four months. Bonus, you also get the sounds of nature with these voiceovers. Came out of the gate very basic with a very stripy bucket hat that came off quickly and there's a pattern up for that. I then wanted to go into something wild. The strawberry bucket hat did not work so we flipped it. This is the strawberry backpack pattern that I am absolutely obsessed with how this came out. It is the mini backpack of my strawberry dreams and also my daughter's. I then went into designing something that's been in my head for maybe a year with some help. But I paused on that while I finished up a couple of whips. This is the Diamond Dolman Top by Mother of Pearl. And this wasn't really a whip so much as it was something I was very desperate to make. This is the frog pattern by Dot Pebbles Knits, and my gosh, can you hear that bug in the background? Anyways, getting back to the 70s, this is the Merry Mushroom bag that I, guys, like, it came out better than what was in my head, if that's even possible. It's a super fun canister style bag that's inspired by the Merry Mushroom print goods that were very popular in the 70s from Sue's Roebuck. Uh, you can see the number of <laughs> videos I've made of it. There's two versions in the pattern which you can get on Ravelry, Ko-Fi, and Etsy, blah blah blah. But the little crossbody pattern and then the bigger canister. I then got to do some traveling. Which was awesome. I cast on a sweat sweater while I was traveling, which was kind of spontaneous for me, but it became really special because while I was doing that, I had one of those special memories that like knit into it. Drop me a comment if you experienced this too. And then by the time I was back from my trip, I had already split for the sleeves! There's a lot more done, but I don't have videos of it. Back on my bananas self of designing things purely for the serotonin. I don't know why. While I was waiting for that one to block, I finished up another whip that had been languishing in the bottom of my trunk. This is the Bavarian Forest hat. I've made several of these. Uh, this is by Bumblebee Acres Farms. Big fan of theirs. This is a crochet project that I've had on the hook for maybe two years. It's the elephant pattern from Animal Friends of Pika Pau. Big fan of her books. Finish it up with some mods and then the reveal of the LaCroix pattern. <laughs> Obsessed is not a strong enough word for how happy I am with how this came out, even how like the reveal shoot I had imagined a very 80s ridiculous glam vibes. I have just had so much fun styling this bag and messing around with videos and just it's designed for the serotonin. Speaking of which, this is my current design as it stands this evening. I'm entertaining wrong guesses only for what it is in the comments. So yes, there you have it. You are vastly up to speed now with the craft projects from over the summer. Unphotoed or videoed as of yet. A dog butt. Unphotoed or videoed as of yet is a sweater that I cast on for one of the kids. And it is not super far, but that'll be in the next update. There's going to be some travel crafting, so get excited, get amped. It's going, it's going to be fun. <gasps> Tell me what you're working on or give me your incorrect guesses for what my newest design is in the comments here. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok under Craft as well. 
you want to buy any of the patterns that are listed, they're all going to be linked down below.